Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in once again to Mama Sanity. Um, today is Good Friday. Happy Good Friday, um, Easter weekend. I hope that everybody has um, some wonderful, fun plans with their friends and family to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which leads to the forgiveness of our sins. So awesome for that. Um, I know like my family and I, um, on Easter weekend, we always go camping and a thousand trails has this thing where um, they do a lot of activities for the kids and it's really fun. And then the Easter Bunny always comes and leaves the Easter baskets and hides them either in the trailer or outside the trailer and it's like just a fun little scavenger hunt for the kids on Easter morning so it's it's really fun and, and really cool so um, like I said I hope everybody has um, some wonderful plans for their um, with their friends and family and um, today I'm going to talk to you about I know on Fridays I usually um, leave you with a uh, food for thought, which I'm kind of doing that today, but I know it's usually about, you know, um, never giving up and going through storms and that's all important. But since it's Easter weekend, I wanted to do something a little more uplifting. Um, and it's all about today um, helping people. And I, I feel this is extremely, extremely important. Um, for instance, that's why I'm doing these videos um, to help somebody out there. Um, so. Uh, hopefully this is an encouragement for you. It's um, a store, the store, it's three things and it's the story's long and then it's three other um, kind of devotionals are kind of long. Um, so just please bear with me. So let's get started. The first one is called the Starfish Story. And of course I got all these off of Pinterest. And it says an old man was walking on the beach one morning after a storm. In the distance, he could see someone moving like a dancer. As he came closer, he saw it was a young woman picking up a starfish and gently throwing them back into the ocean. Young lady, why are you throwing the starfish into the ocean, he asked. The sun is up and the tide is going out, and if I don't throw them in, they'll all die, she said. But the young lady did not realize, but young lady, do you not realize that there are many miles of beach and thousands of starfish? You cannot possibly make a difference. The young lady listened politely then bent down, picked up another starfish, and threw it into the sea. It made a difference for that one, she said. I really wanted to share this with you because that is so true. You know, okay, nobody's going to like you 100% of the time. That's just, it is what it is. That's life, okay? I'm sure there's a lot of people who will never watch my videos because they're like, yeah, I know that's not for me. Or people watch my videos and they say, yeah, no, thank you. Okay, that's fine. But hopefully somebody's watching my videos and getting a little bit of advice or encouragement or, you know, helping them grow further in their faith. And that's the whole purpose is 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 to encourage y'all and and help y'all in y'all's faith and y'all's walk and help y'all to be kind to others. And like this is saying, okay, so I may not make a difference in the entire world because I'm just I'm me, I'm brandy, like I'm just I'm you know just here like I'm me I'm not some big old celebrity or whatever but it doesn't matter as long as I'm helping somebody and that that is true for everybody God put a purpose for everybody in this world to do their part and make a difference and that's all this is saying so you know I've always told myself okay one day when I win the lottery because I will win I'm just you know I will win so I can build my dream house but when I win the lottery my husband always says, you've already spent that whole thing of lottery before we even got it because I'm like, I'm going to donate to this place and I want to, you know, do this for the shelters and I want to do that. And, and it's just because it's in me to help. And so, you know, there's been times where, you know, I've seen homeless people or whatever, and I've gotten them food or blankets or, you know, whatever. It's just whatever God leads me to do. And so, you know, I'm just little old me and you're maybe little you and feel like you know I'm not famous I'm not rich I can't help you know well I'm not either but I help when I can and so that's what this is saying if you feel the need and you feel the push to help somebody or do something for somebody to, to make a difference that's all this is saying to do just do something which leads me to the next thing even if it's a compliment that can make somebody's day or life um, which I'm going to read the next story, which is about compliments. Okay. Compliments go a long way. Life is short. We spend so much time sweating the small stuff. Gosh, I know I do. Worrying, complaining, gossiping, comparing, wishing, wanting, and waiting for something bigger and better instead of focusing on all the simple blessings that surround us every day. 
Life is so fragile and all it takes is a simple moment to change everything you take for granted. Focus on what's important and be grateful. You are blessed. Believe it. Live your life with no regrets. All it takes is a smile or a nice word to make someone stay. Okay, so, you know, I, I, I wish for my dream house and I wish to win the lottery because, you know, I want to take my kids on, you know, a Disney cruise or a real family vacation. And, you know, I want to be able to support my kids through their college and do all that. And yes, that's all fine and great. And I, you know, I know that God's going to bless me someday with doing that because I have big, big plans. But I am super, super blessed. Okay, I may not have the, all the money that I need and I may not be able to have all these fancy cars in my dream house yet. And I may not be able to go on all these vacations like, you know, my kids' friends do and have all the nice stuff that my, my friends have. But I do have a roof over my head and I have, you know, food to feed my kids. And my kids, we love our kids. And I have a husband and a family that loves me. And so I am blessed. And little miracles and blessings come to me all the time and that is God saying I'm there for you I got your back your big miracle hasn't happened yet but these little ones are happening and so that helps me to um, regain encouragement and focus on okay I'm blessed every single day there's a blessing in every day you just got to look for it and that's what this is saying you know and it's also saying be a blessing to somebody else you know give a compliment to somebody else Okay, have you noticed, okay, say you're walking in the store of the mall, not 100% of the time, but 99% of the time, if somebody smiles at you, you usually smile back, right? Because smiles are like kind of contagious. And so even if it's just a smile, I know like when I go to the grocery store, I make it a point, and so does my mom, we've talked about this many times, make it a point to talk to the cashier person checking you out. You know, you don't know what they're going through. They may have gotten bad news, and, and so they may not want to talk, and they're just, you know, scanning along, and I always say, hi, how's your day going, or, you know, and just try and strike up a conversation. You may be the only person all day long that has had a conversation with that person, and it may make may make them feel better about themselves. So it's stuff like that that helps people, you know. Yes, volunteering your time or donating or giving money, and that's always awesome and great. But like I said, if you don't have the time or the means to do that, just a simple hug or a pat on the back or a fist bump or a high five or, you know, somebody, you know, walking past and they look happy and say, you know, have a great day or whatever. Just compliments. You don't understand compliments can truly, truly make somebody's day. They can be just down and out and feeling bad about themselves or feeling bad about a situation and you come up and you may give them a hug or say, hey, I hope you have a great day or have a blessed day or, you know, just something, smile at them. And that gives them just a tiny bit of, oh, okay, maybe my life isn't so bad. So, you know, be a blessing to others is really important. Okay, and then the last thing I have for you is um, a little bit of encouragement when we get discouraged. And it says, people are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind to people, people may accuse you of having ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful when you win sometimes, false friends and true enemies will come to you. Succeed anyway. When you spend years building something, someone can destroy it overnight. Build anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have and it may never be enough. Do good anyway. Give your best anyway. For you see in the end, it's between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. That is so true. You know, like I've said before, you're never going to be able to please everybody. And it's not our job to please everybody. What our job is, is to be joyful and happy and respectful and show respect and love to others. You know, like I tell my kids, sharing is caring, you know, because they're always fighting over toys. Sharing is caring. You know, just care. Have a care in the world, you know. Help people out. And there's going to be tons of times probably when you smile at somebody and sometimes they might, 
yeah, whatever. Or you, you know, go to give them a hug and they, whatever. Continue to do it. That there's going to be that person that doesn't care, but there's also going to be that person that does care and that you helped out, and that's what's important. Um, my quote for today is: At the end of the day, it is not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about who you've lifted up and who, and what you've made better. It's about what you've given back as well. When we die, we can't take our house and our money and our cars and our jewelry and our clothes with us. And I'm not saying having all that is bad because, like I said, I, you know, I'm not going to be ridiculous and have like 15 cars or whatever. But, you know, if I ever made it really rich, you know, I'd have a decent vehicle and I'd have a nice house and I'd donate to, you know, certain charities. I'd make sure that my kids are taken care of in their college and, and, and all, later on. And, you know, I don't want to be ridiculous, but I also want to know that I'm sharing and I'm helping others out, you know. And I, I promised myself, you know, if one day I made it rich and I, I won money, um, my, my first son, he was three months premature and so he was in the NICU hospital for three months. And, you know, looking around, it was very important to do, they call it kangaroo care. Um, and, you know, I think that's a parent thing when you do skin to skin. So like you, you would take off your shirt and hold the baby. But they have other people that volunteer their time and just hold these babies for parents that um, either abandon their kids or both parents are working two jobs, you know, to pay the medical bills and they can't be there all the time for that baby. But it's so important for that child to have um, connection and love. And so I promised myself if I ever made it big and I didn't have to go out there and work to pay the bills, I would donate my time every week to holding and rocking babies in the NICU. That's just something to me that God has laid on my heart, I guess, since I spent three months in the NICU and I see how important it is. He's laid it on my heart to give back and to to help others out when they can't be there to help out. And that's all this is saying is when when you go, when you pass away, you don't want to be remembered as this mean, grumpy, old, pers stingy, selfish person, right? You don't want people at your funeral to come and say, oh, thank goodness they're gone because, you know, they never help me out or they never were there for me or they abandoned me or whatever you don't want that you want people to when you're gone at your funeral to say you know they were a blessing in my life and they helped me out and they were always there to listen and they were always there to give me a hug and they they always gave me their shoulder to cry on and you know they helped me out financially when I needed it and you know just whatever the situation is is you want to be known as that person who loves and cares and is a blessing to others, not the selfish person. So I hope that y'all enjoy y'all's Easter weekend, and until next time, I hope y'all stay safe. Thanks.